President Bush is at Camp David right now. He's preparing to host GOP congressional leaders this weekend as he grapples with the backlash against his plan to send yet more troops to Iraq this hour. New evidence the American people are not impressed by the president's latest war plan. We have a brand new survey conducted by Opinion Research Corporation, officially our new polling partners here at CNN as of today. Let's turn to our senior political analyst, Bill Schneider. He's always crunching the numbers. Bill? Wolf, President Bush talked about a change of policy in Iraq, but did it change the public's view of Iraq? No. President Bush has gone on the road to promote his policy of change in Iraq. It is clear that we need to change our strategy in Iraq. Did the president succeed in changing people's minds? Apparently not. According to a CNN poll by the Opinion Research Corporation, last month the president's job approval rating was 36 percent. After the speech, 35 percent. No real change. Before the speech, two-thirds of Americans opposed the war in Iraq. After the speech, two-thirds of Americans opposed the war in Iraq. Before the speech, 27% of Americans believed a U.S. victory in Iraq was likely. After the speech, 27% believe a U.S. victory is likely. It's like nothing happened. Something did happen, of course. So I've committed more than 20,000 additional American troops to Iraq. And the public doesn't like it. 66% oppose sending additional U.S. troops to Iraq. Democrats are virtually united in their opposition, 88%. And the president's base? Two-thirds of Republicans support President Bush on Iraq. But Thursday, we started hearing criticism from Republicans. I think this speech given last night by this president represents the most dangerous foreign policy blunder in this country since Vietnam. He speaks for the 30 percent of Republican voters who oppose the buildup. Why did Mr. Bush fail to change many minds? Because most people's minds are already made up about Iraq. And the president's new strategy didn't sound all that new. And because its success depends less on what we do than on what they do. The government of Iraq must exhibit the will necessary to succeed. Most Americans don't have much confidence in the Iraqi government. Congressional Democrats want to vote on a resolution to stop President Bush from sending more troops. Do Americans want their member of Congress to vote for such a resolution? Yes, 62 percent. Some Democrats want to go further. Now Congress must, must use its main power, the power of the purse, to put an end to our involvement in this disastrous war. Do Americans want their member of Congress to vote to block spending for additional troops? Yes, 60 percent. Maybe the speech didn't work because only 43 percent of Americans watched it. But even among those who watched it, only 27 percent said it made them more likely to support the president's policies. Nearly half said it made no difference. Well, all right, Bill, thank you.